I recommend Sutera to not only growers and colleagues here in the Central Valley of California, but to other growers across the world. They offer top quality of products to help you grow and sustain a healthy crop. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine reporting to you from the annual Summer Luncheon of American Pistachio Growers. One of the key speakers here today was Joel Kimmelshue from Land IQ. Uh, they have a partnership with American Pistachio Growers in conducting a, a really important study to see exactly, you know, as pistachio acreage increases to get a better idea of where we're exactly at as an industry. Obviously, there's going to be some limiting factors of growth, including water, and just wanted, you shared some great results of your study, uh, key insights. Uh, could you give us some of those as far as what we can expect for the, right now and in the future of the pistachio industry? Well, that's a big question, but um, what basically we do at Land IQ is map every agricultural field in California, and so we teased out pistachios, and for the purpose of this uh, session with the American uh, pistachio growers, we looked at how the, the mapping of pistachios relates to other spatial areas. So like irrigation districts, uh, groundwater sustainability agencies, critically uh, overdrafted groundwater basins, um, water supply, um, and other spatial attributes to kind of determine what areas where pistachios are grown might be at a slightly higher risk for water supply and what areas might be at a lower risk for water supply. And what did, what do did we find as far as percentage-wise? Well, uh, there's a lot of different categories, so I can't recall the percentages off the top of my head, but nothing scored perfect, we'll say that. <laughs> there's no perfect water supply. And then there's a range of, of irrigation districts in which pistachios are grown that have greater or lesser water supply for those pistachios. I mean, the good, the good news about pistachios is relative to some other tree crops, they generally use less water. Uh, and so if you think about it that way, you can maybe stretch those acres a little farther if you have the same amount of water uh, relative to other tree crops. Also, you know, they can handle salinity a little better than uh, other crops like almonds. So we can expect that, you know, under marginal, more marginal land and groundwater conditions, yeah. um, we see a lot of the acreage in those areas, don't we? Yeah, it, it, it's it's interesting to see. The, so we map every year uh, for over a decade now, and it's interesting to see how the, land, the crops on the land change. And you can put it in relation to salinity. You can put it in relation to climate, uh, soil type, and and so yeah, pistachios are more salt tolerant, um, can handle a little lesser quality soils, and um, still thrive very well. So you kind of see that, and to some extent, yeah. Now, as far as other insights that you may, you know, interesting uh, things that you'd like to share regarding what you've, what you've noticed with all of these, I mean, you had a lot of different analysis. Well, I mean, we can talk about pistachios, but I, we can talk about agriculture as a whole. Um, I've been doing this for my whole life. I grew up on a farm in Butte County, still have a family farming operation there. I tell people that agriculture and land use has never been this dynamic. It's going to change. And it's going to be interesting to see how that changes in relation to impacts of drought, in relation to implementation of sigma uh, and other variables. And so uh, farmers are very creative and very resourceful folks, and we'll see how they manage that land use change. But we, what we do is we track that change and see where things stay the same and see where things might be different. Well, hey, we appreciate the partnership you have in, in doing this with American Pistachio Growers. Yep. Read more about these things in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine at MatthewMalcolmCaliforniaAgnet.com.